Hey, what's up guys? My name is Moda and welcome back to the Mining Stacker YouTube channel. Today's video, we do have yet another new Alephium ASIC. This one coming from Gold Shell. It's the AL Box 3. We do have specs. We do have reseller pricing. So we're going to talk about it. We'll give our thoughts. Just a heads up. This ain't going to be a long one because it's still trash, right? So we're going to talk about as to why we think that though and where the pricing potentially should be if it makes sense at all whatsoever right so we'll talk about the main reason as to why we think what we do we'll give our overall thoughts so if that sounds good guys stay tuned let's get right to this thing so they just announced it which again they keep doing this bs where they do like a little preview announcement but they don't give us the full info so we do have the specs it's coming soon 1.2 1.25 terahash 600 watts Okay, so the biggest key difference is just like the AOBOX 2 Pro, which it does seem like potentially the Pro may not go out. It looks like it may get rebranded into this thing. Okay, so as you notice, if you guys remember that little video we did with the AOBOX 2 Pro that was leaked from the resellers, pretty much similar efficiency. It looks like this may just be the overclocked version or maybe the specs for the AOBOX 2 Pro were like the low power mode or something. Regardless, maybe they are two different SKUs. It'd be extremely stupid of them. But again, at this point, would that be surprising from Gold Shell? Absolutely not. Okay. So here's the specs. And again, they know the pricing. I don't understand why they don't just do it all. The reason I'm saying they know the pricing is the resellers already have the pricing. They already have it listed. They just, again, they do this stupid crap of waiting. And again, it's biting them in the ass by doing this. Right. And again, this is another unit that's probably been in the pipelines. And they just wait and wait and wait, overpriced, and then they get wrecked, right? Over and over and over and over again, right? You would think they would learn the lesson, but no, apparently at this point, it seems like they like the abuse. They like to be the redheaded stepchild of the ASIC manufacturers, right? So I really can't think of any other reason why they would continue to do the same mistakes, right? So regardless though, let's look at it, let's compare it. So if we look at the specs, the immediate standout, number one, it's 1.25 terahash, right? 600 watts. The efficiency, though. What would be interesting here is if it was at least more efficient, then maybe, you know, okay, this kind of justifies it being another skew, but it's not, right? So it's 480 joules of terahash. When we compare it to the 2 Pro, the 2 Pro is 484 joules of terahash, 950 gigahash, 460 watts. So it does seem like there's potential that this guy may not happen. Remember, this is the one that was leaked from the resellers. So this one may get nixed and it may actually just be this one, may just be rebranded into this. So maybe, maybe not, regardless, either one, they're both trash, so it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Let's compare it to the others and these guys are the same efficiency, right? The one that is a standout though is their Echo Series and that one's 409 joules of terahash, right? So this one is slightly more efficient. So at least they should have maybe made it this efficient in order to call it the three but to each their own so let's look at pricing and this is maybe where it can make sense if it's low enough so we don't have the official pricing yet but nhash for example does have it listed without psu 749 shipped okay for comparison's sake minor bros has it 849 i wouldn't be surprised if we see it come out officially from gold Child 699 which realistically if it is 699 they've been doing free shipping lately it's under the 800 dollars threshold so if you are interested, it's actually going to be cheaper to get it directly from them, potentially, depending on where they price it. Obviously, if they price it at $7.99, then it's cheaper here, but kind of pay attention to that if it's something you're interested in. The reason we're not interested in any of these, though, regardless of the pricing, pretty much, is because of what? Because of this AL2 light release, which kind of wrecked their entire lineup. Okay, so this is a more dense version of essentially the AL Zeros the AL2 light it's 2 terahash at 500 watts okay so a pretty significant upgrade in terms of efficiency overall power and it's 1249 bucks so at this point realistically if seven eight hundred dollars was in your range might as well fork up the other 400 bucks and get potentially a better unit right and this one does have integrated PSU which again I'm not a big fan of but that is an advantage there, right? And at this point, at least you have the efficiency of the latest and greatest current gen. It's not on par exactly. It's within 10%, though, to me, that's close enough, right? In comparison to where the gold shells are at, and they're not even close, okay? So 
What could make it appealing is again, if you're getting one unit or the efficiency isn't that big of a deal percentage wise, yes, it's a big deal, but realistically 100, 200 Watts, it's not gonna be a deal breaker. So if the price does go down aggressively, then it could become more appealing. Definitely needs to be under 500 bucks to be considered, but kind of to each your own. At bare minimum, the highest it should be. I don't know. At this point, it's the efficiency that's kind of getting me, right? So again, but if they go aggressive with the price, which they're not known to do, then maybe. But at this point, again, I'd rather spend the extra couple bucks and just go with the superior unit here, right? So... We're gonna have to wait and see to what the official price is, but expect it to be in that range. Again, it's not something I'd be super excited about. Maybe this guy, if this guy goes on fire sale, I mean, at this point, it's hard to see if they're gonna lower him much more beyond this, right? It's just, it's hard to tell, but again, they really effed up by releasing so many SKUs of the same thing, right? The Ale Box, the Ale Box 2, the Box 2 Plus, Box 2 Pro, Box 3, and then this thing. At least, again, this one is more efficient, but again, these others, it's all the same garbage, right? So they're kind of not a good time, right? So kind of to each their own. It just depends on where you see value. Again, for me, it's just pricing where the current price is. I'd rather just go with the superior unit all day, right? But again, if the prices do go, do go down low enough, it could make sense. Or if Elysium starts pumping here in the next few weeks, Things could look slightly different, but considering where prices are at currently, how low these prices are, and then also factor in that, again, like we mentioned, it's also potential that these go down further here, even in the short term, right? So a lot of factors here, a lot of these high basics, it's not a good time to be jumping in, but again, it's risk to reward and it's timing these things before the market flips, right? And that's even if maybe the market does flip, Maybe even with that Leafium still doesn't flip, right? Realistically, it's a Leafium's price action has to go up significantly for these things to make more sense. But then it's, who knows if it's a real pump, it could be a scam pump just to sell these things. It's again, the vision here needs to be long-term if you're interested in any of these things, okay? So regardless, at the end of the day, going back to the conversation of this guy, is it worth it at 750 bucks, 800 bucks? Hail to the no. All day, I'd rather spend another 400 bucks and get the vastly superior unit in all capacities, right? So kind of to each their own here, but to me, it's just more garbage where they waited too long to release it. They were too greedy with the pricing. They should have just come in aggressively. But again, as we know, as we've seen over and over, they like to pay price it based on the current profitability, even though we know it's not gonna remain there. And between Alephium's hash rate going up, very quickly and go only going to continue to go very quickly and then with the introduction of this guy kind of changing the game and the prices of the big boys is getting cut they waited too long for this release like they still haven't even given us the price yet right which is again beyond silly because it's already wrecked before it's even released right so kind of to each their own guys again just wanted a quick one and even though our opinion of it is trash and the pricing is probably gonna be trash, it's still good to keep up on it just to kind of see the releases, see what they do with the prices and see if they are lowering the other prices, which they kind of have. Obviously not aggressive enough though. But again, we want to kind of see where prices are. We want to track these things just to kind of see where trends are going. And if people are still buying them at these prices or not, that's what's gonna kind of dictate things. Cause again, at the end of the day, they could price it wherever the hell they want. But if people don't see value in them and they're not buying them, what do you think is going to happen? Prices are going to continue to go lower, right? They're going to have be forced to adjust and forced to pivot, right? It's at the point now where it's, we're getting inundated with these freaking ASICs, right? So it's going to eventually hit that point where it's too much. It's going to backfire on them and they're going to pay for it, right? So we'll see what happens. We'll keep our eyes peeled. But again, in two weeks, if Alephium goes up to five bucks, then this is a whole different conversation, right? So... Let me know in the comments though, guys, what do you guys think? Are you guys big fans of Gold Shell like I am? <laughs> Let me know in the comments, guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe, guys. Thank you for watching, and I am out.